Hello, my name is Ken. I was diagnosed with central retinal vein occlusion in 2002. I'm not a doctor and I have no medical training, so remember to consult your physician without delay when making medical decisions. So what is a central retinal vein occlusion? The word occlude simply means to stop up or obstruct. In this condition then, the vein that carries blood out of the inside part of the eye, the central retinal vein, becomes fully or partially blocked. Let's take a minute to look at what that means. This is a view looking down into the bottom half of the eye. The bridge of the nose would be at the top of the screen on the same side as the optic nerve and the temple would be on the opposite side. In a normal eye, light passes through the cornea, pupil, and lens on its way to the back of the eye. At the back of the eye, the retina senses this incoming light. A cross section of the retina is shown here in yellow, but actually the retina covers practically the entire back inside surface of the eye. In the middle, hollow part of the eye is a clear jelly-like substance called the vitreous. The structure extending from the back of the eye is the optic nerve. It carries the sensory signals of the retina to the brain. Along the center of the optic nerve, there is a narrow channel that contains the central retinal artery and the central retinal vein. In this close-up, the central retinal artery, shown here with red dots, brings oxygenated blood into the eye. The central retinal vein, shown with blue dots, allows oxygen-depleted blood to leave the eye. As the artery enters the back of the eye, it branches into progressively smaller and smaller arteries until blood reaches almost all areas of the retina. After the blood has made its way through the capillaries and delivered its nutrients and oxygen to the retina, the blood leaves the eye through a similar system of veins. In this illustration, it may look like the vessel branches are going up through the middle, hollow part of the eye, through the vitreous, but actually the blood vessels are situated against the retina, back against the wall of the eye. This is a photograph of the back of the eye showing the retinal vessels in greater detail. So looking in from the front of the eye toward the back, the bridge of the nose would be on the left and the temple on the right. The optic disc is the circular area over to the left where the optic nerve enters the back of the eye. The enlargement here is a top-down view of where the optic nerve with the central retinal artery and central retinal vein enters the back of the eye in real life, these vessels would extend out onto the surface of the retina over to the right, and there would be more vessels branching out from this area. The chief problem in central retinal vein occlusion is thought to be the formation of a blood clot, referred to as a thrombus, in the central retinal vein. The typical location of this blockage is a matter of debate. Some authorities believe that the thrombus forms right where the optic nerve enters the back wall of the eye, at a structure called the lamina cribrosa, while others insist that the clot may form further back, away from the eye, in the central retinal vein. To sum up then, a central retinal vein occlusion is a complete or partial blockage of the central retinal vein, which keeps oxygen-depleted blood from freely flowing out of the eye. This blockage causes a number of after-effects in the eye, many of which are discussed in additional videos. An organized, up-to-date outline of available videos may be found at www.geocities.com forward slash crvo underscore my.